At Tinker Club, I love coding all the robots because it's fun watching them zoom around. We can explore and the teachers don't have to tell us what to do. Here at Lauriston, imagination is at the cornerstone of our approach to STEM learning. We believe that through focusing on imagination, we enable the girls to take risks with their learning and learn from their mistakes. An example of this approach is seen in the U1 Fairy House project, where the girls design sustainable fairy houses for the fairies that live in their garden. They design these on the iPad and they are then printed here in our Fab Lab. In year five, the girls create their own smoothie businesses where they develop websites, podcasts, and again, smoothie trucks which are printed here in our Fab Lab. As we move into the senior years, the girls now have the confidence to use a range of digital tools. And we now explore the real world application of STEM in their lives. In year eight, this is signified by an exploration of AI. And in year 10, we focus on aviation and aerospace and the career pathways that that entails. The most recent project I've worked on in the Fab Lab has been creating 3D printing using Tinkercad. I created a model. The first time I printed it, it actually didn't work because it was a few millimetres off. So I reprinted it again and it was perfect after that. It's really good to make mistakes because it teaches you perseverance when you're trying to pick yourself up and keep going. Last year, I was lucky enough, along with a few of my friends, to be a part of the spaghetti engineering project at Melbourne University. In this project, we got to build a machine over the course of a few months. That's a Rube Goldberg machine, which is essentially something that performs a simple task in a complicated way. I thought it was an awesome experience to do more engineering. What does the future of STEM look like at Lauriston? Moving forward, our focus will be on developing entrepreneurial skills. These skills are integral for our girls being part of the digital space in their future to ensure that they innovate and that there is increasing gender equity in STEM fields.